Hello? And welcome. My name is Mike, or is it? Yes it is, because people ask me that generally. Uh, in this video we're looking at a haunted painting you guys. It's exciting. This kind of goes like part almost creepypasta and part uh, real. Real. But you know it's October so uh, let's go in with an open mind, shall we? So the center of this story is a painting called The Anguished Man, owned by Sean Robinson in England. The painting is allegedly extremely haunted, super scary, and oh boy, it just, uh, it takes all the boxes of a top tier spook, uh, you know, if you're into that kind of thing. We have experienced several strange phenomena since I lived back. It has been causing nose blades in people after viewing it. It's happened to my son several times. People experience this feelings of extreme nausea after viewing it, so for the time being. So, uh, let's... Okay, wait, no, I need to do my spooky voice. Let's take a look. Sean Robinson inherited the anguished man from his grandmother, who kept it in her attic for 25 years. And she told him, the painting was, of course, haunted. She told him she used to see the dark figure of a man around the house, and at night she heard strange noises and crying. She said the artist committed suicide shortly after finishing it, and that he had used his own blood mixed in with the oils. As I said, this is just ticking all the boxes. So after his grandmother died, Sean inherited the painting. Why you would want a monstrosity like this hanging in your house remains unknown. Then he left the painting in his basement where it remained for 10 long years. But not for that long because it comes back. When he rediscovered it in 2010, he hung it up and shortly after, various members of the family started seeing the dark figure of a man. At times they began hearing noises and then crying and moaning shaken in my boots over here. But this is more than just a spooky tale. Sean Robinson has a YouTube channel showing definitive proof. Nine years ago, this was uploaded. I feel like I need to point out, um, I didn't add those spooky sound effects. Here's another video where we get an even better look at this horrifying painting. Uh, 
Hello, I've just set the picture of the Anglishman back up in the top bedroom. I'm going to record it for approximately eight hours and see if we can catch some of the activity on video. I'll just give you a quick look at the painting first, close up. As you can see, some of the paint is starting to crack. It's still on its original wooden frame. Some of the canvas seems to be coming off at the bottom there and here. In this video, Sean left the recording on for eight hours over three nights to see if any paranormal activity occurred. And occur, it does. A scraping sound. Oh boy. The next night, the door closes. And the following night, we hear the ghost burp, and then something falling. After that, we get another video with an update. He again recorded it over a number of nights. And we get undisputed ghost footage. Ladies and gentlemen. I mean, that could really be anything, which also means it could be a ghost. He also says that weird stuff has been going on in the house. He and his family saw a strange mist. His son was pushed down the stairs by an invisible force. And next, we get even more shocking footage. <laughs> the ghost's tummy rumbled. and something flies in front of the camera. What is that? A ghost, duh! And this ghost does not quit. Actually, in this video, you can see the painting is pretty huge. Anyway, uh, sorry, spooks. It falls over, and then there's a wisp of something. A ghost. No doubt. Okay, so what else do you have for us? After a few quiet months when the ghost activity seemed to die down, Sean got the painting out for a TV show. He then recorded it overnight. And we get missed. Oh shit, not missed. In 2017, we get an update straight from the horse's mouth. Well, uh, unfortunately, I was supposed to be bringing you some updated footage on the anguish man, but when we brought the painting out of storage into my house, things didn't go exactly as to plan. My son was stopping with me, so we decided to keep the painting in my bedroom and film the following night. But through night, at about 2.40, I was woken by loud, very loud banging noises coming from inside my bedroom. My son heard the same noises. He came dashing into the bedroom to find out what was wrong. But we couldn't locate where the sound was coming from. It seemed to be coming from all around the room. Very, very loud. This carried on for about another two or three minutes while we were both in the bedroom. At which point it suddenly stopped. I got it back into bed and tried to get back to sleep. Unfortunately, about 20 minutes later, I had my son rushing from his room to the bathroom with a very heavy nose blade. We tried everything to stop it, and at one point I was on the verge of calling for an ambulance, but it, luckily he got under control and it stopped. This is the fourth or fifth time, maybe more, this has happened to him after seeing the painting. It's also happened to other people.
And that's the story with that one. The painting is clearly haunted by tummy rumblings, burps, and mist. So sucks for Sean having the painting. There was also another update video after this, posted in 2018, but the video was recorded in 2011 and seems to be the same one we've we've already seen. But wait you guys, there is more! In 2017, a video was uploaded by Enigma Paranormal Events, where they tried to do, um, a thingy with it. I don't know. They, they tried to have a chat with the painting, essentially. This is how it went. Who called the baby? Work with me now, join me now. 1940s, does that mean anything to you? The 1940s. Do it's summer. Don't tell us what it's doing, It's like pushing back on my feet. Yeah. It's like breathing. Uh, that sounds silly, but. <laughs> yeah, it's like moving in and out, like. Come on, baby. Bring yourself forward. 1940s. 1940, does that mean anything to you? Baby, join me now. Stand by me. Move the legs of the easel, not the paint. Move the legs of the easel for me, come on. Move the legs of the easel for me, David. Move the legs of the easel, come on, David. Slide it round for me. Thank you. Don't let it go, guys. Thank you, David. Horrifyingly, the easel the painting was on moved by itself, wink wink. To be honest, I'm not even sure if that's the real painting. It looks like a cheap knockoff. Well, let it go, guys. Thank you, David. Yeah. Do you want to come around this way? Yeah. How are you tonight? Are you okay? Mate. Hey. I'm talking to David. <laughs> and what's more, the indomitable William Shatner, Captain Kirk himself and host of Weird or What, featured the painting on an episode. You see, work like this takes a lot of time and emotion. One gives one's heart and soul to achieve this level of creativity, and that's just what it takes to make great art. Uh, level. Our next story features another equally brilliant artiste. He, too, gave himself to his work, but all he saw was darkness. One time I was walking upstairs, and I got to the top of the stairs, and all of a sudden, from nowhere, I was surrounded by this strange mist. It was like a thick fog, and at first I thought it was a fire. It seemed like smoke or a fire in the house. And all of it, then just as suddenly as it came, it vanished. Why he didn't just burn the painting is the greatest unsolved mystery of all, as the great Shat demonstrates. First the thing attacks you, then it attacks your wife, and then it almost kills your son. And what do you do? Nothing! Why do people behave like this? Okay, Sean, if you're watching, here's how easy it is. Right? How hard can this be? Yeah? Oh. Wrong painting. <laughs> we also hear from a psychiatrist who you think, you know, would uh, come up with a logical reason why the painting is haunted. It's, it's pretty creepy looking. That's kind of undeniable. Uh, but she decides to go the other way, surprisingly. And she claims the painting is a portal. It's a two-way opening or doorway that allows us to enter into or connect to another dimension, be that spiritual, astral, or out in space. This artist had actually used some of his own blood. Now, red blood cells are interesting. It's one of the only cells in the body that, as it matures, it takes the nucleus and it extrudes it or spits it out of the cell, so that that cell is governed solely by the consciousness of the person in whom the blood is flowing. I mean, I'm not quite sure that's right. I might need to double check, but hey, she's the psychiatrist and that's her clinical diagnosis. So we have to agree with it. From a metaphysical standpoint, blood represents consciousness and by the artist putting their blood into the paint and then putting it on that canvas, he was actually infusing it with his consciousness. However, at the end of Weird or What, a paranormal investigator debunks it. You can even use actors running past the camera quickly. We did a better job than he did. So there, I think we can all agree on that. 
But I know I said that's the end of the story already, like twice. But that's not the end of the story, because it's being made into a movie. Hey, Anguished Man, how do you feel about that? Oof, not good. Well, there you have it. Although the IMDb hasn't been updated in years, and the production company website, Liberate Pictures, it's dead. So unfortunately, I don't think we're gonna see uh, like an Avengers style team up of the Anguished Man, and like Annabelle, and uh, the Nun, and La Llorona. I think Anguished Man's gonna have to hold back on that for now, unfortunately. I feel like he would have been a real asset to the team. Now, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention another uh, haunted painting that's actually haunted. Well, I mean. The Hands That Resist Him. Created by Bill Stoneham in 1972, the boy in the painting is himself, and it's supposed to represent the dividing line between the real world and the world of fantasy. Over time, the painting somehow ended up on eBay in the year 2000. And, according to its seller, it is super haunted. The figures in the painting would move. People who viewed the painting felt sick and unpleasant. Children screamed upon seeing the painting, and observers felt that they were being gripped by an unseen entity, among other scary occurrences. You have to admit, that's a pretty great marketing strategy. I mean, it went up on eBay for like $200 and sold for over 1000 So, that was a good idea. Wait a second. If Sean put the Anguished Man on eBay, he would rake in the dough. That's why he hasn't burned it. You're safe for today, Anguished Man. But the fire will get you. Eventually. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Back to true crime in the next video, but you know, it's the season of uh, spooks, so uh, may as well do one or two. We'll see. I will see you as always real soon in the next video. Take care of yourselves, Mike out.